We're gonna buy a room, and this dog is gonna go in it, okay? This is Tasha. Everybody say hi, Tasha. Hi, Tasha! Oh, I'm gonna buy a feeding station. Oh! Did I just- I killed the dog. I- I murdered the dog. I built the station on top of the dog. The dog is dead. The floor plan just went right on top of the dog. The construction workers took no prisoners. Today, we are playing a game called Puppy Love Spa and Resort. It's made by Activision, which seems to be a theme. A lot of these games that I play are, are made by Activision. All right, let's let's get started. Puppy Love Spa and Resort, everybody. Who's who's excited? I am. I sure do love video games. <laughs> Look at the pixel art. Look at the pixel art on the bottom. What is going on with that cat? Oh, well, no, let's let's not forget the dog on the right. What is he looking at? He looks like he knows something that 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 we don't. Check out the options. Sound? Help? Yes, please. Help me. <laughs> please. Let's try a new game. You know, it, it's funny because most of the time, right, when I play games like these, I get these used because there's no way I'm buying like a new copy that's like sealed. <laughs> and normally when, <laughs> when I buy these used, there's usually a save file on it already, but there is no save file on this game. <laughs> So somebody must have bought it, gave it to their kid, and their kid was immediately like, No. No. Send it back. I don't want this. What is happening? What is this, like a tycoon game? What? Oh, a dog just showed up. The basics of the game. To make money and reach the goal of each level, you have to service the needs of the animals staying in your resort. If the price of your rooms are equal or lower to what they can afford, they will rent a room. This is not what I expected when I booted this game up. I thought it was gonna be like a game about like, I don't know, like having dogs and cats, like like Nintendo dogs or something. But I have to sell animals hotel rooms? Okay, I'm I'm figuring it out. Brandy Reward. This guy this dog's name is Reward. My dog uh uh Reward, you know. Come here, Reward. Come here, come here. I don't know how to s I'm clicking service pet. It's not doing anything. Failure. I failed? How did I fail? What do you mean game over? <laughs> okay, this is bullshit. We're gonna buy a room for $100 and this dog is gonna go in it, okay? This is Tasha. Everybody say hi, Tasha. Hi, Tasha. And what we're gonna do is we're going to service the pet. I'm gonna buy a feeding station. Oh, did I just- I killed the dog. I- I murdered the dog. I built the station on top of the dog. The dog is dead. The floor plan just went right on top of the dog. The construction workers took no prisoners. So here's what we do. Okay. I'm gonna buy a station. Do a feeding station. A grooming station. And a bathing station. And... I'm going to buy a room for $100. Now, we can service the pet, and we can get money for servicing the pet. Okay, you see, I'm getting it. I'm getting it now. Okay, yep, yeah, we just got $100 from- from that cat. Grooming. That screenshot looks really funny out of context. Honey, you left the door open! All the- all the fleas are getting in! <laughs> We're the fleas. Don't screw with us! We're the <laughs> fleas! We're coming into your house. You left your door unlocked. F wait, fleas to kill? I didn't think that this game would be like, oh, you have to kill fleas. How do I kill these things? Do I just tap them? Yeah, I just tap them and, and then they they get Thanos snapped. Okay, I did it. Who named this- who named this kitten Blackie? That is one of the worst names that you can give your cat. Especially, like, it's not a black cat. Bathe- oh, <laughs> damn it! Left the front door unlocked again, honey. The bubbles are getting in. Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me impersonate Bubbles. You left your front door open, fucker. We're coming in. <laughs> okay, who colored this cat? Oh no, it's, it's just grime, guys. It's just grime. It looked, it looked like a Sonic OC. <laughs> Honey, you gotta stop leaving the door open. The kibble is coming through the front door. Wait, if I'm feeding, if I'm feeding Scooter, then what, what are all these tubes for? I'm not just feeding Scooter. I'm feeding a duck, a fish, a pig. A cow? <laughs> is that- it's like ADHD medication? <laughs> what? What is, what is that on the right? I'm feeding a bunch of animals and there's like ADHD medication on the right. You're feeding Scooter? I don't think I am. 
Am I like mixing parts? Like if Okay. If you say that I'm feeding Scooter, why do I not just have a bag of food? Why am I mixing together various things? Like a <laughs> chemist. <sighs> Theoretically, I could just scream into the microphone and it would have the same result. If you made an NFT, what would it be? It would be a picture of a log of shit in my toilet. And I would sell it at 50 million shit theorem. Oh, that's real nice. Yeah, scrub that pussy. Yeah, fucking make it nice and clean. Yeah, fuck. God. <laughs> so yeah, you can just you can just yell and it and it'll the bubbles will go away. Imagine this gets turned into a video. H how how many how many views would this video have? A million? Two million? Yeah, can we get uh can we get seven views on this video? If if you want to see more content like this, leave me five likes. I love the way the cat looks on the top left right now. This isn't repetitive at all. No, this is like... Are you telling me that this new game from the mines at From Software isn't triple A? Look at this. When they showed this off at, at E3, it had ray tracing. Now it doesn't. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how dopey the dog looks. He doesn't know. He doesn't have a single thought behind those eyes. This is what years of inbreeding will do to your animals. This game's plot was written by Hideo Kojima. <laughs> I'm not even shocked. Buried deep in the files of this game is like an ARG that'll take you nine years to complete. <laughs> God, you're covered in shit. I can't take you anywhere, baby. And that's not me trying to romance the dog. That's just the dog's name. The dog's name is Baby. Who the, who is coming up with these names? These are some of the worst pet names I've ever seen in my life. I swear to God, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna be cleaning one of these pets and I'm gonna try to say their name and I'm gonna look up at the pet name and it's just gonna be like a slur. Just like a flat out slur. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta clean up this dog. Uh, oh, can't say that. <sighs> okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you can do anything into the microphone and it'll work. Imagine just going up to a dog and being like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Then the bubbles go away. This is one of the easiest games, but it also makes me want to die. Salty, are you okay? Blink once if you need help. I don't have a face cam. Wait, wait, guys. L l let me turn on my face cam. <laughs> Here's my face cam, guys. I don't need any help. I don't need any help at all, guys. Why is Obama white? This is Bill Gates. What the fuck is... What? Whoa, why is so Obama white? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? The idea of calling Bill Gates white Obama is really fucking funny to me for some reason. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, how did you reach that conclusion? How did you look at Bill Gates and was like, oh yeah, that's white Obama? Who who made this music? This should be counted as like a crime against humanity. Grant Kirkhope made this music. <laughs> Grant Kirkhope made this music. I would stop kissing the ground that that man walks on. Level two, all right. You thought we were done? No. No, we are not. Salty, you should turn off the game. It would be so fun. It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. It would be the most incredible superhero movie the world has ever seen. Salty, please, you have to stop. Your family misses you. If my family actually cared about me, they'd let me do... They'd let me do this. This game looks like it was made for a creepypasta. <laughs> That's what everybody keeps saying. That this game looks like it was made for a creepypasta. And, and then when I was washing Missy in the bath, her eyes turned blood red and started bleeding hyper-realistic blood. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry off this cat by just making noises. Oh, yeah. See there. You can do anything. You can do- say- say and do anything you want, and it'll dry off the cat. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Your noises would dry a pussy, Mr. Derek. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that one. You- you- you got me! Oh, you got me! Can you turn the game off? <laughs> no, I can't. I gotta get to level three. Guys, you- you will not- You have no idea, okay? You have no idea. Level 3 has Ornstein and Smau in it. 
and then you beat them and you get the true ending and you get to you get to kiss Selena Gomez on the lips. I shit you not, it's real. It's real, I've seen playthroughs of it. Dude, if, if I was in charge of, of making one of these licensed games and it was set up like this, I would make sure that there was like 99 levels. And then if some sociopath got to like level 99, some like crazy shit would happen. Because like, who's gonna play the game to level 99? You know what would be really fucked up is, is you buy this game and on the front it's like rated M for mature. And you're like, why is why is it rated M? It's just like a kid's game. And you get to level 99 and it's just, it's just like, it's the goriest shit you've ever seen in your life. Oh my God, it's never gonna end. Oh, I don't want to play this anymore. I don't want to play this anymore. What happens if I quit? Oh, well, guys, I- oh, I beat the game, guys! It's the credits! I- yeah, there was only three levels in this game. Of course, Gary Miller, my man, and oh, let's not forget Hugo Morin, and Simon Gagnon! Huh, <laughs> but what about Carl Vachon? <laughs> and Daniel Marco? I would definitely have to say that this game was pretty expansive. Like, once you first start playing, like, you think that all there is is, like, Limgrave, but then there's, like, a whole world beyond it, you know? Easily could could pour hundreds of hours into this game. I definitely say that getting rid of weapon durability was a good call. Uh, and overall, you know, like, the collectibles are really fun, too. So, yeah, would recommend, uh, 100%. Uh, definitely a big thumbs up for me.